flank coming on by the Soviets at double S-25, but a Tiger is coming on in. Hello everyone, this is GreyShot17 casting another gameplay. This is a 2v2 on the fields of Winnedook. We got Bad News Beavers, DOD, great names, versus Coffin55 and SO7. An American and Soviet versus two austere with some decent playtime. Yeah, they both have some decent playtime, so that's good. If you have a replay you would like to submit to me, submit it to my Gmail or Discord down below. If you want to support the channel, hit that follow button or subscribe on YouTube uh, or on Twitch if you want to, you know, actually fork over money. But hey, even if you don't have it, you're tight right now because of everything going on, or you some for some goddamn reason invested all your funds into Luna and went from you know, having a couple thousand dollars to a few pennies to your name, it's okay. Your support is greatly appreciated for just watching my content. So thank you very much for all your support. You know, actually, I'm really, I really hope, I have not talked with Major about that. I really hope Major's, uh, uh, I, I think Major is Bitcoin. I really, uh, not Bitcoin, but other cryptocurrencies. I really hope he didn't lose a lot over the last, like, week. I really hope. I know, I know what a few I know a few people I know that have been like, uh, well, <laughs> I, I won't be doing anything major for a while to recover my losses. Speaking of losses, Grenadier, uh, losing a model. Pioneer coming up from behind. MG, a focused, uh, elsewhere, guarding the fuel. So it's really just him by himself. Good job by Coffin focusing on a weaker infantry. Well, you have Major and Skip. Major will end, uh, you if you bring it up to him and he is that- Oh, no! Oh, Wings, no, I'm so- Oh, damn. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm- I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, hopefully. We'll survive Vegas, I guess. Oh, man, great- Somehow, Grayshot shot himself at Battlefield Vegas 27 times. It's insane. Anyway, Mortar gets pushed back. Great job with very low infantry going back and forth. Also, very aggressive Mortar placement. They'll push forward. Uh, Soviet, not as aggressive, but still just waiting for his men. Versing on the, his far side, Grenadier. Actually, the same army composition. Uh, two Grenadiers, Pioneer. Actually, what, look at the health. The health is almost exact. Look, chat. Look at the health on both these. I'm going back and forth between the colors. It is surprisingly, like, accurate. Holy shit. Anyway. MG pushing back the uh, Grenadier with conscripts should hold that uh, VP wise. It's about even I'm saying if he is in that not sure if he is okay, that's that's fair wings. That's fair Conscripts moving on over do they have mall subs yet? They do not okay So burning him out could be a good option great ears coming back in force good job that coffin got in good cover to hold back the Grens good mortar shot by the way weakens him a little further um, he does have additional rear echelons, which makes me think he'll... I actually don't know. Maybe actually he'll go with Rifle Company. Which I know apparently the ez is better than the M4C, Sherman. I'm sorry. Everyone keeps telling me that. I swear I thought it was uh, worn down in terms of its effectiveness. But maybe it's just the overall doctrine is just not as picked as the others. But anyway... Uh, or is the, sorry, the 76 millimeter Sherman, but yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it But at the, the flamethrowers could be a good option if they want to like burn infantry in this region uh, I'm trying to see what else because I don't see any other bonuses you would give Rashlon unless you're just trying to give them like I don't know, uh, like bazookas He did get a lieutenant so he'll get a bazooka there and the stewards in on the docket Uh, the German player, does he have battle phase one? He's getting that now, so I'll have rifle grenades here shortly. Uh, DOD has a battle phase already, though he's pulling back and launching counterattack. Although his grins are really weak, I wouldn't really do that. Although good flank on the MG. Again, doesn't really have conscripts guarding them. They're back at base healing. And uh, he's getting medics. Uh, sorry, he's not getting medics. He's getting the other thing. I like how he just flanked it to force it back, so he didn't have to waste rifle grenade. Great ears charge a lieutenant for some damn reason. No MG's gonna stop them from pushing up. Good job. Mortar as well caused some damage. Uh, Pioneers flank the 50. Uh, though immediately retreat. 
Great ears, I would not charge if I were you. Maybe he's thinking maybe behind the shrubs he can get a good rifle grenade. That could be it. Um... Uh, Let's see. Again, as someone who is an identical twin, I understand the twin references. But no, I don't think they're identical now. They're separating what they're doing. I will say DOD is also cutting off territory. I just realized this. He's about to cut off the entire uh, American line. So the American will be effectively cut off from all resources. The allies are down to six munitions and fuel four fuel per turn. That's a, that's a big F right there. That's a, that's a big ol' F right there. Engineers are holding on to the territory, trying to reconnect it. Uh, but again, that's still uh, not great if you're trying to get a bunch of resources. And most of the line is cut off. Pioneers pulling on back. Pansgrandeers with treks in case of light armors on the field. Grand ears as well. Surprised no MG42s instead, but six minutes quite early for Shrek's, but I get it. Big old American attack that was trying to push back the Axis in the meantime. Why go back when the Soviets can deal with it? Hopefully. No? Bad news Beavers is like, uh, you think the Soviets going to come and save your ass? Nah, we're going to keep holding on to the territory. You're going to get squat. We're getting 23 fuel and 37 munitions. Not great, but compared to your four, oh, we're living the good life. The sweet life of Hans and, uh, and, uh, fuck, what's another German name? What's... Anyway. They drive the enemy back. Oh, seven, there we go. But yeah, no, the Americans do pull back because of the MG. The Soviets may finally be able to grab this territory, which is good. But, uh, and they do reconnect this, which is solid. So at least they're getting some resources back. Oh, okay, good. Seven, I see. I thought you meant, like, Savon or something. Oh, he said seven, not seven. I thought you were saying names, sorry. I was like, interesting name, but okay. Maybe I'm missing something. Point is, Conscript's grabbing this territory. They might be able to grab the middle VP. Because the Germans are more focused on reinforcing and putting down a uh, fuel cache? No, munitions cache. Okay. I said German names. I couldn't think of one. Chat. Okay. For reference, I said... Uh, for, I was making a joke about they are living the sweet life of Hans and blank. And I couldn't think of another name. So when I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay. I get it. Savon. There you go. Like... Zack and Cody. Oh my god. Fritz. There you go. I could have said Fritz. But I had a brain fart and then chat pulled up that. I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe that's what the... Maybe that there's like a reference or something there. That That's the joke. Okay. But the joke was so fucked up that it went over everyone's heads and everyone's like, did he did he misspell seven? No, I didn't miss a seven. Anyway. Stewart is on the field, so the Shrek teams are worth it now by both Germans, and hopefully they can drive it back. You're never living this death. The fact that you... Okay, the, I'm actually kind of defending that joke there. Anyway, Bazooka team won't hold that back off forever. And again, Stewart, I like him slowly retreating, but again, he needs something else to really hold them back. Good grenade, at least keeps the Pan's Grenadiers from flanking. Although this Stewart's pretty damn low. Uh, Soviets once again being flanked. I am once again dying to the Germans. Anyway, Pioneers are slowly being worn down. We're actually at least holding that line pretty well. It's like, we can't be cut off again, guys. We just can't. The American is being fairly aggressive. I feel like the Soviet needs more frontline men. He is getting a T-70, but I think that's a mistake because we're already seeing Germans bring out AT forces. Also, do not put a cash down. The German Panzer Grenadiers are so... I like to be proven wrong. Mortar just comes in to just kick his ass. Uh, but I still think the Shrek teams could really weaken this. Or a bundle grenade here could be very effective. So... Yeah. No, that's, uh, that's not good. 
Anyway. The American infantry are pushing left. Hitting the Grenadier. Uh, forcing them back. Not too bad. Okay, not too shabby. They're driving it back. Again, they didn't get the kill, but at least they drove him away. Stuart gets uh, healed up and on the front. Mortar's going after the ambulance and the mortar. Again, don't put your mortar next to an ambulance. It's a really bad idea. Ha! Huh, Gilvice protecting me! Huzzah! I was correct! Shut! Eat it, Johnny! Okay, chat, I got some news. Uh, the event I have to go to is at 1 o'clock, so... Uh, we're going to have to speed this one up. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am introducing to you... The, uh, an improved replay where we're going not by one, not by, but by, let's see, I think it's going to be have to go four speed. We're going four speed, baby, because I missed up on time and I need to go sooner than I thought. So, speed replay, here we go. Still under fire from Panzer Shrek's being driven back by a blob. We have mortar fire on it as they try to move back. Upgrade with MG42. Soviet still back. T70 is on the flank. Trying to heal up though with the engineers, but Shrek team is coming on in. MG does protect uh, one, but the other one is pulled back. Mortar hit by rifle grenade. Conscript's coming on in to help and does succeed. On the far right, we have a Stewart coming on in. Going after the mortar half track, but pulling back once saw the pack gun. 50 cal repositioning to make sure it guards this area. Pack gun needs to move over to try to assist. Again, a healing the half track. MG going to mid as the Soviets advance with guards with upgrades. Going after killing the cash. Panzer four coming in for a counterattack with Grenadiers and a Panzer Grenadier. Panzer four hitting the T70 and conscripts trying to do their best. Bazooka team coming on in. Panzer four slowly pulling back, wearing down the infantry. Blob is driven back by the Stuart and 50 cal machine gun. And although Panzer four still trying to do what it can. Bazooka team drives uh, the Panzer IV back for a second, but Panzer IV continues its fire. M1 on the field will push back the Panzer, although Panzer IV does wear it down quite a bit. Pack gun's still there, so he needs to worry about the light armor, but Half Track does indeed die to the AT gun. Excellent shot there. Another Panzer IV is on the field. American Infantry dropping smoke to get around the MG, possibly for a flank and maneuver. Big push on right by Grandiers. The Panzer Grandiers, Pioneers grabbing the territory with Grandiers taking over the, that position. VP's under their control. Stewart trying to hold back the infantry. Does hold it back, but Panzer IV is coming in along the side. Captain Rechelon is well trying to provide that fire support. Does successfully push back bad news, but he has a thousand manpower with DOD, a thousand manpower, so additional caches and armor. Speaking of which, armor on the left hand side is being pushed back by guards and penals. Both have enough AT to easily hold it back, plus an AT gun. Although Panzer Grenadiers and Grenadiers are doing what they can to hold back the Soviets. 50 cal will drive them back, however, and the Soviets will successfully hold on to the fuel. Though there's Grenadiers, MG, and other forces. Panzer Force almost back up to full strength. On the right, we have the Americans. The Americans are pushing up at the Stuart, knocking out the, uh, uh, the mortar successfully. 50 cal guarding territory riflemen pushing up against the pioneers pulling them back. Additional grenadiers push that back, but they do steal the mortar. Excellent job there. Captain pushing right, trying to kill the 50. Uh, sorry, the MG42 and grenadiers stuff like that going after the captain and trying to catch the Stuart, but the Stuart is too fast for them. Rough grenade misses on the far left hand side though. While the major has come on over, Panzer forces along with grenadier do successfully push back the Soviets. Gratusha firing, hoping to break them up and does successfully hit the pioneers, though not as effectively as he may want. MG is is injured. Though. Though, and minefield successfully pushes back a lot of the infantry killing a lot of the guard troops among else t70 going round and round circles trying to dodge the panzer 4 50 cal as well uh still there this gun and su85 coming in to hold but the shrek team is right there su85 maybe in a pickle panzer 4 going around circles trying to take it out but is unable to get those kills panzer 4 and mid does six, successfully hold the territory stewart under fire but the shreks do miss Werfer does not, so great shot by Bad News Beavers. Panzer 4 coming in on the Stuart, but they drive it back with the Jackson. Great shots there. Pack Gun moving in to guard that territory with Grenadiers and MG guarding the right hand side. Soviets push in mid with a 25, hitting the Panzer 4. Gratusha pushes back to 50 cal, allowing the infantry to push on up. And the 50 cal or MG? Yeah, 50 cal stops the Grenadiers. Dive attempt goes on in. But the Shrek team and Panzer IV are not enough. And looks like the Soviets will... Come on, go for the kill. They are diving. We are suffering losses. But it does escape. Soviet forces do uh, wear, have a worn down SW-85, but they're getting some heals. Jackson's getting heals. t 70 is going around. Artillery is hitting the left-hand side, allowing the Soviets finally able to take that fuel on the left, possibly, and that. But Shrek team will fire on the T-70. 
Uh, doesn't look like they're actually able to. He's too fast for him. Guard force still push on left. Panzer four moving the mid. German American force is trying their best to fight here. Werfer firing. Does hit the mortar, sending them pack back. Jesus. American infantry guarding the right. There is a Panzer four, but the uh, there's enough firepower here. I think he'll be driven back. And he has armor piercing rounds on. Big flank coming on by the Soviets at double S85. But a Tigre is coming on in. Drives away the S285s. And another Tiger on the field as well. Guard forces are sent packing and right into the minefield, killing both of them. Excellent job right there. Tiger tanks are holding the front. Nice amount of artillery wearing down the guards. Tigers will advance with Shrex, killing the Jackson. S-25s do push back the Tiger. Not able to kill it. Tiger is still firing. Gets killed by Bazooka teams and the S-25. Good AT combo by the Soviets and the Americans have won. Tiger does survive. Tiger Ace does not. American forces are averaging 80s. Axis are averaging eh, 60s. Bazooka team is guarding mid. Right now it's Pack Gun as well. Guarding his Americans. Try to push up with a counterattack on right. Great ears try to take territory. But the vehicle crew actually does some damage and, put, and with armor support push them back. American forces hold on to the fuel on right while Soviets push left. Minefield has been pretty much gone right now because they've been cleared. Absolutely. MG pushing back the guard force with Panzer IV driving them back. Katusha comes on in. Hurts the MG. Hurts the Pioneers. But if he can build up that command bunker, he can reinforce. Panzer IV on flank. But again, has to worry about those S-25s coming on over. Pioneers. Uh, successfully laid down. Teller mine hits the S-25. But there's two of them. So even if he pushes, he's in a really bad spot. Panzer IV in mid guard by an MG and pack. Should be fine, but they need infantry to grab that territory, and the Americans have more than enough firepower to hold that area. Again, half-track coming on in. Very interesting to see. Do we have a Jackson? I don't think so. Would be good to have a major form of AT. Mines come down, but again, American uh, infantry is just not present, so hopefully Great Ears can grab it. Again, good hold there. American German infantry taking that, but Rushlands come on in. I'm oh, sorry, not Rushlands. Vehicle crew and hold that territory. S-25s push on in. Again, not much stopping a push there. It looks like the Panzer IV did uh, die. T-34 coming on to wear down the infantry. Tiger Ace coming back with Shrek teams. Should be able to kill this. No, T-34 escapes. Guard Force trying to hold. Both throw grenades. Both get sent packing. S-25s once again show the might of the tank destroyer and push back the Tiger Ace. S-25s are holding the flank. Meanwhile, Americans still trying to hold mid. And the vehicle crew team is holding decently well again we have soviet arms and recon sports why the mines are coming in from the sky grenadiers sent packing by the 50 cal major coming in with bazookas in mid panzer grenadiers on standby with tiger and panzer four now can the sherman do something bazooka team's holding back the panzer four nothing stopping them no mg so right now making infantry just having a field day in mid bundles not as effective as they want them to and Tiger trying to do what it can, but can't stop the American infantry from killing the pack gun. Left hand side, we have a Tiger on the run. New Tiger Ace being driven away by the S 85s. Now Vet 3, respectively, and Vet 2. Going in for the dive. This could be very bad for him. Shrek teams kill it, but they do kill the Panzer IV. I would say that's a win for the Soviets, but that's just me. Shrek teams coming on in. Maybe killing the T 34 if they can. Some good micro could stop it, but it doesn't look like that would be the case. No, it will. T 34 escapes with the S 85 in the hop. Nope. He dies. Guard troops coming on in. Right now, mid is still under control. Right now, looks like Axis needed to grab some territory and stat. Guard forces are taken. Again, they have been upgraded, so they're very good against infantry. And they're grabbing a lot of territory, trying to kill this bunker as well. Stewart alive this whole time with only one kill. Great ears taking mid. Caduce fire drives them away with the big old blob coming on in. Werfer would be great to hit this, but... Alas, fires at the mortar instead, killing that. Rash line gets blocked by an MG. Tiger pushing back in mid. Can we deal with it with AT? Americans a little light in that regard, but they focus their efforts in one position. Maybe, just maybe, they can do that. Left hand side, Tiger Ace returns, but S25. I have no idea why there's a demo there, but fuck it. It was amazing. Blow up his own men, that's okay. Uh, Katusha and fired everything else. Stewart blocks him, kills so much. German forces that literally DOD is dead on arrival. Instead, DOA should be his name because there is nothing there. The American forces are taking some losses from the Shrek teams, but overall, it looks like they should be able to win. Now it's just up to Bad News Beavers, who's in a really bad mood right now because he has not much there. s 25s opening fire on the Panzer IV, trying to drive them back. Guard forces taking mid. Sniper coming on in to try to provide some anti infantry support in mid to try to clear the territory and provide recon. But double Katusha and artillery is doing quite a bit. And without that support and Katusha killing the Werfer, DOD ends the game. I do, I'm actually really sorry for this player because I, I do have to go. 
But my god, that was that was actually a pretty good maneuver by the Americans and Soviets on the flank. Oh, all right. That would have been a solid game, but I didn't have to do it by times four. All right, AT guns did some solid work, and the Stuart was actually pretty damn good. So excellent job there. Uh, the Soviet top damage, the S25s were really well microed. I really enjoyed that. Again, a lot of good, the, the minefield, yes, was unfortunate retreat, but overall I thought it was pretty good. By the way, Coffin, thank you very much for swimming this game. I thought it was a, a great game. I just, I feel bad that I had to go at that speed. So that wasn't bad at all. Well, okay. Maybe, maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll do a day next week where I'm just like speed talking. That way I can get through like 10 replays in a day. Jesus, I would lose my voice. Anyway, DOD has uh, 28,000 uh, top kills, although a lot of losses. Bad News Beavers had a better KD, uh, but not as much damage. But still, I would say overall better. Um, let's double check this. Uh, SU-85 is 21,000. Pretty good stuff right there. Uh, Bad News Beavers. Uh, Grand Ears, actually pretty good. I mean, never lost any and killed some vehicles uh, with the Panzer Grands. Uh, Panzer Grands over here actually got some good kills and damage. Unfortunately, just... Uh, I think he just didn't have a really good counter DOD against the um, SU-85s. The Shrek teams just never were in a good position to really take take them out as effectively as he probably wanted them to. Uh, the Soviets again, uh, the first ha the first like third was a little iffy, but then towards the second half, I thought they got better and better at defense. So good to see. But hey, what do you guys think of that speed cast? Anyway, this has been Grayshell17. Once again, thanking uh, Coffin for submitting this replay, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello guys, before you go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Joey G240, Malam, Folkford, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B, Epic Pleb, Some Tool, and Sir Marvell. Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping this channel grow. This has been Grayshot and his amazing patrons, and I'll see all of you next time.